Hi, I'm Benopal and I'm back with episode number 5 from the Pathfinder series. This time we're going to be looking at a question from the Laws of Motion chapter, build up your understanding question number 55. And this question is about friction and circular motion. So let's have a read of the question first. A motor is installed at the top of a pole rigidly fixed on a platform. So this is the motor. A light rod of length r equal 1 meter is rigidly attached to the motor shaft at its one end and the, at the other end a small ball of mass m is attached. So this is a light rod and this is my ball. The rod can be rotated in the vertical plane with the help of the motor. Total mass of the platform, the pole and the motor is 4 times the mass of the ball. Okay, So if the mass of the ball is m, this entire thing is 4m. The motor rotates the rod at a constant angular velocity. The platform is placed on a horizontal surface where coefficient of friction is mu equal to 1 by root 3. At which minimum angular velocity omega naught of the rod will the platform start sliding? Let's have a look at the solution. So before we actually solve the question, the one concept that I'll be using here is, it should be familiar to you, but I'll just quickly go over it. What is the minimum force required to make this block move on a friction voila surface? So I have a force F at, acting at an angle theta and mu is a coefficient of friction. The minimum force to make the block slide is mu mg by root of 1 plus mu squared. Here mu is the coefficient of static friction. So this is a result that all of you should know and remember. But I will just quickly show you in case you don't on how to drive it. So this is the FPD here. The force F external force acting at an angle theta to the horizontal. The normal force, gravity and mu n. So in the vertical direction I can I can write n plus f sin theta should be equal to mg. So I get my normal force as mg minus f sin theta and in the horizontal direction f cos theta should just be able to overcome mu n. So I have just written f cos theta should be equal to mu n and n is f mg minus f sin theta and solving that I get f as a function of theta and hopefully from trigonometry you know or even calculus that the maximum value of this denominator is root of 1 plus mu squared, the maximum value. And therefore, the minimum force is mu mg by root of 1 plus mu squared. So, this is a result that I am going to be using in order to solve the question. Let us have a look. So, if I look at the force, force diagram on the ball, I have two forces. One is the force by the rod on the ball and the other one is gravity. So, I have force on the ball which is by the rod and gravity both result in the centripetal force. Now, I have taken r vector to be pointing away from this motor which is the center of the circle for the ball and therefore the acceleration of the ball would be omega square r but a negative r vector because the acceleration is towards the motor which is opposite to r vector. So, the resultant force uh, on the ball should be equal to minus m omega square r vector and therefore force on the ball by the rod would be minus mg minus m omega square r. So this is all in vector form. Now because the rod is light, the net force on the rod should be 0. So the force that the rod applies on the ball, uh, rod should apply a negative of that on the motor. So force on the platform which is the motor is part of the platform once again by the rod should be negative of this. So it should be mg plus m omega square r. Now, if I look at the FBD of the entire platform, I have the usual normal force, friction, the weight of the platform and the motor 4mg and the force by the rod. The force by the rod has two parts. One is mg vector and the other is m omega square r vector. So, r vector is directed away from the motor. So, that is why I have shown this direction for m omega square r. So, these are the two parts or these are the two components rather of the force by the rod on the platform. Now, if you compare this FPD to the one that we saw on the previous slide, can you see that normal force mu n the same hai? and m omega square r instead of that we have an external force f here. So, m omega square r is playing the role of that external force trying to move the block and instead of simply mg I have a net downward force of 5 mg. So, we saw that the minimum force to make the block slide was mu mg by root of 1 plus mu squared. So, instead of mg, I will have 
5 mg. And instead of F minimum, which is trying to pull the block, I'll have M omega squared R. So my equation will be M omega squared R should be equal to mu into 5 mg divided by root of 1 plus mu squared. And just substitute the values given in the question and you will get the answer, of, answer for omega as 5 radian per second. So I specifically selected this question as uh, part of my episode number 5 for the Pathfinder series because I wanted to show you how you can relate um, or how you can solve a seemingly complicated question in a faster manner and make it a little easier if you can try to relate it to something you've already learned, to some result that you've already learned. So always try to look for such connections to what you've learned or what some result that you've already studied. That will make the question easier to visualize. So that's it for today. See you guys. Good night.